Hi, I'm Ty Pendlebury from CNET.com and I'm joined by Tim Alessi, the Director of New Product Development for LG. Congratulations, Tim, on the award for the EM9600. How do you feel? Thank you, Ty. Uh, it's awesome to be recognized for uh, an achievement in a, in a show as large as this, to be able to be named best, not only best TV, but best product and show is really an outstanding accomplishment. So what has brought us here? How long has this TV been in development? Well, OLED has been around for a while, but the real breakthrough this year is to be able to get it to this 55-inch screen size, make it relevant for the home theater crowd, not just uh, kind of a niche product. Uh, so that's that's why we're really you know showcasing it this week. So what's magical about the 55 inch? There's a lot of 55 inch TVs being shown this year. Why that size in particular? Well, it was just a good place to start. I mean, we can certainly go higher in screen sizes, uh, but you know, as a first entry into the market uh, with OLED, we thought 55 was was a pretty good spot. Okay, and what's special about this technology in particular? Well. I mean, as you know, it's, uh, it's a totally new display technology which emits its own light, so that means it can have that pure, perfect black level. Um, it's very energy efficient. The color gamut is wider than a standard display, so you're going to get natural colors. And the technique that we use with the fourth white pixel uh, really adds to the brightness without distorting any of the color. So it's just kind of the perfect package of everything. And we're going to see this in the third quarter, is that right? Yes, the target ship date is sometime during the second half, I think probably around third quarter. Uh, but we want to get it out as quickly as possible, based on the response here. And this is going to be more targeted at an enthusiast crowd, would that be right, as the first of its kind? Yeah, I think that'll, that's where the main appeal will be. I mean, it's certainly, pricing hasn't been set yet, but it'll certainly carry a premium over existing technology. Uh, but even price aside, I think the performance is really what that real hardcore home theater enthusiast is looking for. And when are we going to see OLED become a mainstream technology? Well, it's, it's tough to say when it'll become mainstream. Obviously, this is the first big screen, uh, so we'll see how the market accepts it and how economies of scale work as far as getting the pricing right. But you know, it'll be a, it'll be a few years before it really gets into the mainstream. Okay, and I presume you've seen the Samsung OLED at their stand. So, how do you think it compares against yours? Well, you know, OLED uh, just as a technology is far and away better than anything else out there. So it looks good, but we think we have an advantage. Number one, it seems like we have a little more finished product. Um, the design is more finalized, and you know it actually has a model number. Uh, so you know I think we're a little bit closer to launch. And that fourth, that that quad pixel technology with the white, I think really is going to give us a little bit of a picture quality edge as well. Oh, great. Okay, thanks, Tim, for your time, and uh, congratulations again. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.